What's up traders? This is VTrace and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for NVIDIA Corporation with the ticker symbol NVDA. I will first be going over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please trade at your own risk. So last time I looked at NVIDIA was back in May 11th. So it's almost been a month now, so it's a good time to do a recap. So I had this drawing on here before where price was range bound trading sideways, had a failed breakout lower with the mesh move reach. Price came back inside the range, broke this downward trend line, and then that was a very clear signal uh, letting traders know to enter long because we got back above the support of the range. We broke that downward trend line. We already reached the measurement target to the downside. We had a strong impulse up. That was all leading to another large impulse up. So you can see that this was one leg up right here. Price pulled back. This was the second leg up, targeting the top of the range with room to the top without a lot of resistance. So it was a clear signal for price to continue higher. So, uh, and that's exactly what happened. And price continued higher to the top of the range. Uh, 957 could have been a triple top. The bulls were really strong. You can see that this trend line was still in play right here. Uh, the bears were not able to break it. Let me go erase the drawings. See this trend line right here. And now price has gotten far away from the trend line and uh, it's getting even steeper. So it looks like there's a stock split coming up very shortly. Uh, we're overextended at all-time highs. Uh, there's a good chance we can see a drop. Maybe not that large. Maybe something like this. See from the highs to lows here, it's about a 22% drop. So a 22% drop from here would take price back down to the breakout level. A lot of times price will test these breakout levels. So there's a breakout level at the 964 that it can come back to test. So can it go higher? Yes, it can. It can go higher first and then pull back. Uh, do I have a mesh move target I can use? Well, I got to zoom out. And we can look at this leg right here. All this is one large leg. And then price exceeded it by a large amount. So it could be just making an, another type of leg right here. And let's move this one over. And this one's right around uh, 1,336. So it could go a little bit more higher. And then we could probably see a decent sized drop. So overall, very bullish. Uh, is uh, NVIDIA really worth almost $3 trillion? Well, the market believes it. That's why it's at this price level. Um, I think most of the liquidity flowing in is just to fight the um, battle against inflation. So there's a, a premium attached to the stock just because it's outpacing inflation by a large amount. Because there's a lot of good companies out there like Apple and Microsoft, Google, um, Amazon. Uh, and you know they don't have a, a large premium, as much as a premium as NVIDIA as of right now. So a lot of the liquidity is flowing to NVIDIA because they don't want to miss the train as of right now. So a lot of FOMO, you could say, a lot of uh, premium attached to this stock because of how well it's performing. Uh, but again, it's not going to last forever, uh, at least in the short term, it's looking pretty good. And then eventually we'll probably see a, a bigger correction than we've seen uh, thus far for the past you know couple of years. Uh, but as of right now, it's pretty good. Uh, in the meantime, expecting a little bit more higher prices and then a decent size correction, probably another 20-30% uh, drop. And that's all I have for NVIDIA on the daily chart. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Weekly chart shows that massive overextension and whenever it gets this overextended, generally we start pulling back. So correction is definitely coming in the next couple of days to a couple of weeks. But that doesn't mean we can't go higher first. We can definitely still go higher first and then see that correction down lower. Uh, but the real story can be told on the log chart. So this is the log chart. It allows you to see you know, more of the price action in the past because of the large percentage increase we have seen you know, in the more recent times. So we can see more price action data in the past. So what do I see? Well, I think I drew this channel in the past before, something like that, and I dragged it up. Or um, it was something, let me see if I could draw it. I think it was maybe something like that. That fits pretty good right there. So you can see that I'm connecting the tops right over here and right over here. And then I dragged it up and that's where price found resistance, corrected, but we're still continuing higher. So it could be um, in a steeper channel. So let's go and draw the steeper channel now. So something like this is what Nvidia is respecting. So again, still a lot of upside potential, very strong trend. Um, we're going to see corrections, but again, it can still continue to push up higher and higher. Uh, do I see a longer term measurement move target? Well, we can use this leg right here, the more recent one, drag it up, and we're right at that level. 
you know, the $1,200 level. So we'll have to wait and see. Either, either way, picking a top is a, a highly risky thing to do. This is still in a strong uptrend. We're a little bit overextended. We can see a correction anytime now. But NVIDIA could uh, has a high possibility of definitely uh, continuing to trend up higher. So we'll see what happens. Uh, it's probably going to hit $3 trillion market cap, maybe even 3.5 in the future. Uh, but that's all I have for NVIDIA on the daily and the weekly charts. This is V Trades, and thank you for your time.